So now that we're in DaVinci, we're gonna change the timeline's frame rate. Because we're working with 120 frames per second footage, we're gonna set it to 30 frames per second, which will enable us to get four times slow motion. So let me grab all of our footage quick. Okay, so our first shot here, we're just going to slow down the whole shot. Nothing fancy. So we're just gonna right click on it, change clip speed. We can change this to 25% and we're gonna ripple sequence. And what ripple sequence will do is it'll just shift everything over to fit the extended clip now. So now we have that same clip. The second way to add slow motion into a clip is to go to Retime Controls. This isn't a method that I use at all really, but I did want to show it because it does exist. So these arrows are just showing the direction in which the shot is playing, and this is obviously forward. And what you'll do is you'll just click down here at this arrow that's pointing down. They have all these presets that you can use. Uh, and this is just showing, you know, here's 10%, 30%, 50%, 70%. And you can move these around. So that's one method, but this is the method that I use. So we'll right click, retime curve. And if you're looking at this and you have it zoomed out a bit, you won't see this little arrow down. You're gonna click this arrow. And I don't like to do the retiming with frames. I like to do it with speed. It makes it a little easier. It's just percentages instead of frame numbers. And you can then go through, you can move this up and down to change the speed. Or you can just come over here and click and it'll add a keyframe. And you can pick another location to add a keyframe. And now you can change the speed in between the keyframes. So I can move this down and get my 25% here this way. Obviously it'll play 100% here, 25%. And then back to 100%, right? Let's add this a little, let's make this a little longer. But the cool thing with this is you can fine tune this because if you go to the keyframe, whoops. Okay, it'll add a curve. So now you can ramp how, how the speed comes in or goes out. It'll be a bit smoother. And these are just like any other handles. You can move them around and then you can, you know, pick this point. It's the location of where that curve exists. So if you really want it to, if we make this longer, you know, you could make this, let's say 200%, right? And we can add a curve in here. It goes from 200% down to 25%. Right, and then back up to 100%. The big thing that you have to remember is all the footage that you've seen so far was shot at 120 frames per second. We're able to get, uh, make it four times slower because there's enough frames because our timeline is 30 frames per second. I wanted to quickly show you what happens if you have footage that's shot at a slower frame rate. So this shot was filmed at 30 frames per second if we take this shot and slow it down 25%, we'll only be able to display 7.5 frames per second. So you get a very stuttery looking shot. There are plugins that you can get to smooth out and do some like, believe it's referred to as frame blending or something of that nature, but you do get a lot of artifacting in that. So when you are shooting stuff, you just have to be conscious of what you're trying to get in slow motion. And when you're editing, you have to, you know, pay attention to the frame rates of the material you have. And that pretty much sums up how to get slow motion in DaVinci Resolve. 
Again, my name's JR, and... See you when I see you. Wow. Mm -hmm.